beta. In this video we'll be taking a tour of what's on offer in the beta and showing you some quickfire tips along the way. You'll have four different game modes to try here, Galactic Assault, Strike, Arcade and Starfighter Assault. Let's take a quick look at each of them now. Strike throws you into a small scale infantry focused 8 vs 8 objective battle. You'll be fighting here on Takadana, the resistance have acquired an artifact and it's your job to protect it. However as a first order stormtrooper your mission is to collect it and extract it before your reinforcements are depleted. Four classes are available to choose from but I love playing as the assault class in this game mode with the CR2 blaster equipped. Its rapid fire means that you'll defeat enemies quickly in close range engagements. Also don't forget to switch to your vanguard weapon for a quick burst of speed and massive firepower up close. The assault class can also use the scan dart to fire at a location and locate enemies nearby. Now when playing as a resistance fighter on this level and game mode you can try going to the top of the castle and overlooking the battle. This way if any stormtroopers steal the package and attempt to extract it you can be ready and waiting to take them down from a surprising position. Don't forget to spend your battle points in strike 2, scoring enough points from defeating enemies or playing the objective means that you'll start earning battle points and you can spend these on the spawn screen. Coming in as a more powerful unit like a flame trooper or wookie warrior for example can turn the tide of battle in your favour if you use them well. Moving on, arcade is our next offering in the beta. This game mode pits you against AI and you'll be challenged with defeating a certain number of enemies in the fastest time that you can manage. In the wipe them out scenario you can choose between Darth Maul or a B2 battle droid. I'd always pick Darth Maul though because A come on it's Darth Maul and B I think it's easier to complete the level faster with him. So make good use of all of your abilities by monitoring the cooldowns and use these abilities as soon as they are ready to go. The chokehold in particular is good at clearing large rooms of multiple enemies. Just make sure to get as many targets in your line of sight in one go as possible and don't forget that you've got a dodge too. This is great for closing the gap on enemies and also avoiding blaster fire. Next up is Starfighter Assault, a massive 24 player game mode putting the players in an epic space battle. In the beta you'll be thrown into the action during a rebel raid on an imperial star destroyer docked above the planet Fondor. This game mode has multiple stages and objectives to it. If you're new to flying starfighters I definitely recommend practicing the basic controls when the game starts. You can adjust the speed of your fighter, fast, slow and you can have full control of rolls as well. Remember that if you want to make a tighter turn flying slower will allow you to do that. Very useful if you're chasing a target or someone is chasing you to break away. Focusing on playing the objective in this game mode is really important too. If you see an attack or defend icon pop up on your heads up display try your best to complete that order and remember when shooting at targets that are moving fast aim at the smaller circle next to your reticle to ensure successful hits. The fourth and final game mode in the beta is Galactic Assault. 40 players take to the streets of Theed on the planet Naboo. The separatists attack whilst the clones must defend and stop them from entering the palace and capturing the throne room. When you play Galactic Assault choosing the right class is very important. The officer for example is more of a support role that can buff teammates with health and place down automatic turrets to defend areas. The specialist class however is great in the first section of the level as they get access to a long range blaster with a scope meaning that you can pick targets off at range. You can get access to several vehicles here too. When you've built up enough battle points why not come into the game as an ATRT rampaging through the streets or how about an AAT, a super powerful tank like vehicle with massive cannons and tons of health. Even starfighters make an appearance on this level too and are great for raining down blaster fire from above. And if you get enough battle points you could of course come into the battle as a hero. Ray on this level is great for defeating rooms full of droids, even Han Solo with his powerful blaster and explosive device. The separatists however get access to Boba Fett and Maul, just as deadly and precise. Remember Remember that heroes can regenerate health now too so if you're wounded fall back and wait to regain health before storming back into the battle. Play with your team as a hero unit you aren't invincible. Don't forget about star cards either. Three slots for each class unlock them in crates and equip them on your characters. They will give you better stats and allow you to customize your gameplay style to suit you best. 
And my final tip is weapon mods. With enough resources, you can craft these for each of your blasters, and they will modify your primary weapon. For example, reduced recoil, improved burst, and exploding shot are some of the mods available for the Blurg 1120. So experiment with different mods to find your favorites. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and top tips for the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.